Can you see? Yeah. Right, okay. So let's have a look at this one here. Do you have your calculator? We might need it. We might need it. Okay, so uh, for part A here, C equals 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Mm -hmm. But what we can do is we can change meters, we're told are 6.1872 times 10 to the 34, and that's called um, Planck length. So I'll just write LP for that Planck length. Yeah. And a second, what's a second? A second is 1.8549 times 10 to the 43, um, and that's Planck time. So if you multiply these three and divide by this, your answer will be 1. So it's one length plank per plank time. Yeah. That's what the C is. Okay, so that's okay, yeah? Yeah. Uh, the next one is G. So this G is a bit harder. G equals, what did I say it was? 6.674 times 10 to the minus 11. And now you must use your answer from part E, 1E. You see this one here? So what was the answer for E? It was um, meter cubed per kilogram per second squared. Yeah. Right, so that's meter cubed per kilogram per second squared. So that will be 6.674 times 10 to the minus 11 times. So that's Plank length cubed, and one meter is um, 6.1872 times 10 to the 34. Yeah. And then down here is a plank mass, plank time squared. So this one is one second squared, and one second is 1.8549 times 10 to the 43, I'm on our space. And this one here is a kilogram, which is 4.5946 times 10 to the seven. Anyways, when you put those numbers in, you'll get one again. One? Should be, I hope so. You didn't get one? Can I check on the calculator? Let's see. Right, 6.674 times 10 to the power of minus 11 times 6.18, oh sorry, 72. I forgot I need to cube this. Yeah. I hope this works. 6.1872 times 10 power 34 over, what's that, 4.5946 times 10 to the power of seven times 1.8549 times 10 power 7 uh, squared. Matt's error. Yeah. Ah, I know why. Too big. Too big, yeah. So what you need to do... Uh, I do just... The power separately. So it's 10... 112 over... 10, 7, 10, 86, I think, you know, 10, 34 cubed, 10, 7, and then 10, 43 squared, that's that. Hmm. Now, if I put these three numbers in, let's see. Uh, I have different way. You do? Good. But I'm not get the answer. Then maybe it's wrong. Let's let's see now. <laughs> yeah. No, maybe 
Okay. The calculator can't go past 10 power 99. Uh, it's the limit. So this is the problem here. Yeah, so this is 99.995. These three numbers. So that's 100 times 10, 112 over 107. 1086. So what's that? 10114. Oh. 10. Oh dear, that's not right. Is this what happened to you? Is this right? Meter cubed per kilogram per second squared. Yes. Okay. And meter is 1034. Okay. Cubed, uh, kilogram, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hunter all two. Hmm? Hunter all two. One, one, oh. Which part? Uh, this one? Yeah. Hunter all, uh, one, oh, two. One, oh, two. <laughs> one, oh, two. <laughs> Thank you. One, oh, two. So that's one. That's one o four. Yeah. But then what about this? This is still a problem, isn't it? Mm, it means seven and. You add. Add. Uh, add. Mm, yeah. Oh, add uh, is. Ninety three. So eleven. Mm. So. Oh, forgot about that. Uh, That's in the front. So there's a 10 to the minus 11 here. And 93. So that's 10 zero in the end. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it just becomes, it just becomes one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Messy, messy. So it's one. Plank mass, <laughs> plank length cubed per plank mass per plank time squared. Goodness, that's hard. Yeah. So, um, I just use the question A answer mm -hmm. because uh, plants what this. Uh, yeah. Is it though? I don't think th this is plank length and plank time. I don't think this equals one. Oh, Be oh, 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 okay. Because you see, it has a number. Yeah. Oh, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just uh, uh, reduce the zero. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, the same thing is going to happen here. I think this ends up being one as well. Yeah, yeah, for the last one. So, so no. That's actually that's actually why plank length, plank mass, and plank time is useful because it means c equals one, g equals one, and h equals one. Yeah. Because you maybe do you know these formulas? E equals m c squared. You can change that to e equals m. And you know f equals g m1 m2 over r squared? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can change that into f equals m1 m2 over r squared. You know, it's kind of, it's nice. Uh, okay, is that okay now? Yeah. Yeah, so any other questions? I think I'm not. No, you're happy. Yeah. What lesson are we doing next? Um, resolving vectors, okay. Let's open the door. Let's close this. Come on. Close. If I wait five seconds, I can make it ten minutes.